Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, today I wanted to cover a topic of interest of mine uh, because when I was applying for grad school and I was making my personal statement, that was the one part that probably took me the longest because I didn't necessarily know the structure of it, um, what type of questions I should ask myself. And I found that when looking for resources or, or help online or even videos, they weren't necessarily helpful for myself. And so I have studied how to make personal statements, my own personal statement, and I have used that advice and knowledge to help some friends create their personal statements for grad school. So I wanted to give that back and put it into a video in case anyone needed an extra, you know, way to think about their personal statement and some questions to reflect on when creating their personal statement for grad school. And I think that a lot of these things can also be sort of tied back into cover letters, but that's a video for another time. So usually the length of a personal statement is around one to two pages long. So that means that you have to jam pack a lot of information into a short document and essentially sell sell your story, sell your ability to to be the right candidate for a school, a program, or a research project. So you have to be very concise and every single sentence that you put into this personal statement has to have a purpose. It has to bring forward your arguments. So no filler words, no filler sentences, and no duplicate sentences again. So paragraph one is similar to your high school, you know, English classes is your summary paragraph. So you want to say the purpose of the personal statement. For example, you would write something like, I am writing to express my interest in pursuing X degree at X institution. First sentence, you can get right into it. And then you would sort of talk about what is your education experience, your previous experience, meaning you could say something like, I hold a bachelor's in this degree at this institution. And then you want to mention a short statement about why does the program you're applying to at the school you're applying to interest you and then what are your goals if you get accepted to the institution and the program of choice. So that is the sort of summary part because you're gonna get into it a little bit deeper later on in some other paragraphs. But it just covers, this is what I'm trying to apply to, this is my experience, my background, these are my goals, and that is your first sent, uh, your first paragraph. Paragraph number two, or I should say part number two because it depends on the length of the personal statement. Um, but let's just say part or paragraph number two. This is when you're going to get into the second sentence of your first paragraph, which is the background and your previous schooling. So I'm going to give you some questions to consider when writing this uh, paragraph. So first you need to mention the institution and uh, your program that you were a part of. So for example, if you hold a bachelor's in economics. You would write, I hold a bachelor's of economics at this school. Um, but you want to get into a little bit of the, like, what did you learn through your degree? Um, I think that's important because, yes, a program, like, economics can tell you something, but the courses that you took and the things that you learned through this program tells you a whole other story. Like I'm sure from school to school, they even teach economics differently. So you wanna make sure to mention what did you learn? This can include certain courses that might pertain to your future studies. Um, so what did you learn? What did you learn through your, through your degree or your previous um, education? Why? did that degree interest you? Was there something specific that, that sparked an interest? And that is that interest something that also sparked um, your reason for applying to grad school? So that's something else that you could talk about. 
How does it relate to your future studies? So how does your program show the person reading your statement that you are qualified, in a sense, to, you know, be a part of that program? Because sometimes people are applying to completely different programs. I mean, if you're, you're, you have a background in education and you want to get into education, the connection can be a little bit simpler, but let's say you have a background in, I'm really trying to think. <laughs> Let's take my example. Um, I have a background in international development and then I applied to an education faculty. So what is that connection? What did you learn in the bachelor's degree that makes you qualified to be a part of this master's? Um, so how does it relate to your future studies? And you can also dive into what did you achieve during your time, um, whether that's through extracurriculars, you can talk about your GPA, um, all that type of stuff. What did you achieve? What are some of the projects or outcomes that you got throughout your time um, in your previous schooling experience? So that's part two. Part three or paragraph three four, five-ish, this is where we get into a little bit more of the storytelling of you, your personal part, the personal part of the personal statement. So here I like to talk about the work experience that I've had. So when we're talking about work experience, of course you probably had tons of work experience, um, but let's say you were a babysitter at one point, being a babysitter might not necessarily help you a lot with applying to a degree in engineering or a master's degree in engineering. Um, of course, there are skills that you learned in babysitting that you can take forward, but pick some experiences that really tell the person reading your statement that you are qualified um, and that you have experience in the field to do higher education. And then you might want to, it depends, it depends on sort of what you need to include in your personal statement. Um, Cause some programs might require you to have a research in mind, have a supervisor in mind. Uh, then again, others don't. So it depends. But I like to add in sort of ideas for potential research and how those ideas relate to your experience. Um, for example, I had a position as an environmental coordinator at a school and that experience itself shaped the type of research that I wanted to do and I explained the research a little bit. I mean, this isn't your research proposal, but it's to show that you've thought about it a little bit and to show that the person reading the statement, uh, to the person who's reading your statement that you've, you know, you really want to pursue this, uh, you really thought about your your research, and this is what you're thinking about without giving everything away. Um, so yeah, potential ideas for research or uh, interests based on your experience. And then I want to emphasize that this is a personal statement. You can talk about how your experiences in life have shaped your research interests and goals. Don't be shy about it. You can tell that story. But again, you can write your life story for pages and pages and pages. So make sure that your experiences are concise and that um, it really tells the person reading your statement that you are the right person to do this research. So essentially, I'll just read off my concluding statement for my personal statement my concluding statement for my personal statement to give you an idea of how to maybe structure that um, so that you can end it off, clean it up, and submit it with your application. So it goes a little bit something like this. To conclude, a master's degree in blank at blank would offer an important step for my academic pursuits and my goals of a career as blank, you can put your goals of what type of career you're looking into. Um, so if that's a researcher, a uh, policy advisor, X, Y, and Z, period, as a potential member of the learning community at institution, I look forward to contributing to the university's culture surrounding the topic of your choice uh, through continued work 
Um, in my in my case, I put through continued activism and community projects promoting education on climate justice topics. So that was how I ended off the statement, and then you put sincerely, and then your name, um, and that is your personal statement. It's one to two pages long. It's concise. It's quick. Um, you will have to do some revisions because sometimes you get in the mood to write down a bunch of ideas and then you realize that it's too much or you've repeated yourself. So or you can have an extra person look at it to tell you, hey, you've repeated this. Hey, uh, I don't understand what this means because sometimes the jargon can be very specific and belonging to a specific field. So it's always good to have another set of eyes, especially another set of eyes who does not know about the subject or the topic at hand. Um, that can be very helpful. So that's it. Um, I'm wondering if I should continue to do content like this um, around employability, you know, grad school, um, academics, all of that type of stuff. I love sharing this this type of content um, and I do have a lot of insight about it so I would love to do it. I'm also thinking about doing a sort of worksheet for a personal statement maybe so let me know if that is of interest to you. Um, but I guess that's it for this video. Also comment, you can help each other in the comment section as well. Um, can be a wonderful community of support. So that's it for today and have an awesome day. Take care of yourself and for now, ciao, ciao.